What's up guys? So today we are discussing how to dress down your overcoat. What's up guys? Welcome back to Jen Slounge. I'm George. This is Blake. If you have not hit that subscribe button yet, please hit that right now. It really, really helps us out. We are here every week talking about men's fashion, lifestyle, and today, how to dress down your overcoat. So recently we just did a video on how to style overcoats. We got some custom Indochino overcoats yes. that were beautiful, but today we're gonna to kind of show you how to dress them down and use them not just under a suit and tie. Yeah, so typically a lot of guys kept asking us questions on why they should even get an overcoat, that they don't dress up. And honestly guys, you could wear an overcoat with a t-shirt and jeans, or even just with like a scarf, a dress shirt, and some Chelsea's. It's a, I mean, you can make anything super dressed down, but in particular, an overcoat can look badass if you do it right. So you guys remember probably like six, seven years ago when the pea coat was pretty much the hottest yes. coat for winter. Everybody was wearing it dressed down, dressed up, unbuttoned, buttoned with hats, without hats. Now today, the overcoat is kind of taking the place of the pea coat. Yes. You can wear them in the exact same ways. It works the same way. It's just a longer coat and kind of gives you that little extra flair. But to wear a, an overcoat casually, there are some things you really should consider. And I think number one is fit. So yes. it, it does have to fit you right. If you've got like a loose, loose overcoat where it's like swinging and swaying and you're trying to wear a t-shirt and jeans, it's not gonna yeah. look the best. So these are more of your stylish coats, guys. So if you're someone who's walking to work and you're walking when it's snowing or raining, maybe maybe skip that coat. You know, if you're somebody who's going into the office and you're pretty stylish or you're, you're, you're buying a coat because it is cold, but you're not necessarily the guy who dresses up in suits, maybe size down. You know, that's what I did with this camel coat. I sized down particularly because I wanted to wear it with t-shirt and jeans, with a sweater, very casual. Right, I mean, sometimes you'll see the overcoats that are very, very like, high-end structured and they have like the strong shoulders and the strong lines yeah and it just it kind of looks a little bit too too formal to dress down yes. so you want something on the more casual side more soft shouldered as you can see we wore two different types of overcoats i have this one from theory which has kind of an interesting high collar which always looks like your collars popped yes blake just popped his collar because he's that guy so today um we're going to show you how we style them basically i wore dark denim, a casual button down, and threw on a scarf with some Chelsea boots. You know, you can switch out the button down for a t-shirt for um, another like light dress shirt, but it's still not quite a suit and tie and we are still wearing denim. So my look is very simple, guys. It's light wash denim that I got from Express for like 40 bucks. It's a t-shirt, literally just a regular blue t-shirt, white sneakers, and then a camel overcoat. I love camel overcoats because they can go with anything and they're the easiest overcoat to dress down. Trust me, guys. I'd say colors wise, camel's probably the easiest. Yes. Navy would be second and then charcoal gray third. Yeah. Yeah. All right, guys, and one last tip before we go. If you don't have an overcoat already or if you're looking for one to just wear casually, we recommend waiting till after yes. the winter season because I think we got both of these on sale. I got these from the Theory outlet and it was like 75% off, which you can get a much nicer coat for a lot less if you just wait a season and overcoats really don't go out of style. So you're kind of in good shape with this style of coat. Yeah, so I got this from Club Monaco and I think it was regularly like $500. It was like insane. It was pretty expensive, but I bought it for about $110 with the discount. And it was perfect because this is the overcoat that I sized down on. So it allowed me some, I guess, wiggle room to wear it even post uh, winter season. Right, you can kind of, you know, yeah. when it gets a little, I mean, in LA it's always warm. It's like 80 degrees right now. We're trying to shoot these things. But, um, you know, we got to put out fall content, guys. So that pretty much wraps up the video. Um, if you have any questions, comment below. We try to answer everyone's comments. So if you have any questions on how, why we did something a certain way, let us know in the comments below. We'll try to get back to you. And if you haven't hit that subscribe button yet, please do that right now. If you haven't followed us on Instagram, please do that because we are posting style inspiration pretty much daily so give us a follow over there leave us a comment tell us you came from youtube and we'll see you on the next one cheers, cheers guys you know what the overcoat is one of those things that i feel like it's just stylish don't like like this like this kind of look yeah like i feel like because that look looks boring without it looks some coat but see we're going to like a nice like a like a, like a bottega louis like open space airy this looks really nice and say so you could be in a suit casual like, fine dining 
Yeah, I mean, I, I, like you could be wearing a suit, I could be wearing this, and right. we could have a killer meeting still. And it, it doesn't look out of place. No, no, it looks good. Let's see, right, guys. Let's, let's shoot this.